All right, welcome back to the shop. I don't typically do unboxings, but the shop is, you know, a little messy. And messy is okay. And dirty is okay a little bit too, but the floor, I don't want the floor to, you know, I spend a lot of time pressure washing and painting and all that stuff. So I try to mop it and, and not let it get built up too bad. And I've seen some really bad floors before. When I was, when I was younger, I worked in a machine shop and the floor was so bad that you could feel the elevation change depending on what side of the shop you were working on. And when I started the first day, I said, look, don't even pay me for the first day. I just need to clean my space because I can't work in this. I didn't stay working there for very long. But anyway, it was just so nasty and it just, you know, it starts and it just builds and builds and builds and builds. And, and I got a good start here, so I'm going to try to keep it clean. And in, in order to keep it clean, I've got to be a little bit more organized. And the, the cart that I have is okay, but I'm always tripping over the brooms and stuff. And I went ahead and splurged and bought myself a janitor cart for Christmas. And this was 60 bucks, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this thing. And, and then we'll take a closer look at it. And, and hopefully it works out for me. But uh, anyway, so let me go ahead and get this thing assembled. So this cart was a scratch and dent, and the reason it was a scratch and dent is because it was missing all the hardware. So what I've had to do now is get a, a box of uh, six, uh, six millimeter bolts and washers. So I just gotta go through and button this thing up. I'll go ahead and put the price in for what I paid for this and versus whatever the real price was initially and then yeah, I imagine each one of these pieces of hardware cost me 10 cents, so let's see whether that was a good deal or not. I'm not saying that every time the scratching didn't work out, but you know, sometimes it works in your favor, so let me finish assembling this. Alright, it's probably not worth a video, but you know, this is this is hopefully something that will help, but, but I fall into this trap all the time that one more gadget or one more device will help me, you know, disabuse my self of the old ways of being messy and dirty and all that other stuff. And, and you know, I've been at this a while now, and I know that there's no one one thing that's going to help me, but but every little bit helps, and the fact that I'm cognizant of my weaknesses, I think is, you know, says something. So, this is by no way, shape, or form going to reshape the way I mess the shop up, but, but it will at least keep me from hunting for where my brooms and mops and vacuums and stuff are. And the things that, you know, actually that, that, that I didn't suspect that would be useful in the shop that are, are this little Makita vacuum. It, it is really good for just picking up after myself. It's not good for cleaning, it's good for maintaining. Uh, we used it in the house for a long time and actually got a better one. So now I use it out in the shop and it's very handy. Um, and like a stiff bristle brush, uh, boat brush, use that for cleaning the floors in here. And for me, the, the stiffer the, the brush, the better. Um, so I just try to sweep the floor out and then I use a blower quite a bit in here and then we'll mop the floor from time to time and I use, I haven't settled on one thing, I've got some simple green down there and I think I'm going to get some heavy duty floor stripper and uh, try to keep the floors in decent shape. But, but anyway, I think the cart will serve me well and like I said, just try to keep everything in one spot. So, Alright, thanks for watching, have a good night. Alright, so here I am. I'm just mixing up a bucket of TSP. That's the trisodium phosphate. You can get it in the paint section at Lowe's or Home Depot. I think it's $5, maybe $6 for a, a small powdered box of it, which I, I believe it'll make 15 or 20 gallons. It's pretty cheap in the scheme of things, and it, it seems to be doing a, a relatively decent job. It is used for paint prep and whatnot uh, as an additive for pressure washers and whatnot. And on this side, I'm just, again, experimenting with different things, and this is the Simple Green lemon scented. It's $10 a gallon. It seems to be doing a, a comparably effective job as the TSP. So that's it. Thanks for watching.